Hello students, this video is for class 6 history and students today we are going to start with a new chapter in civics that is rural, local, self-government. But before we go into understanding what is rural, local, self-government, it is very important for us to understand what is civics and why is it important for us to know and learn the basic civics. Alright, so let us understand what is civics. Civics is nothing but a study of the rights and duties of citizens. So as citizens, we need to know what are our rights and duties uh, and how to perform these rights and duties or how to make use of these rights and duties in the society we are living in. Now why is it important for us to learn civics? What, how does it help us? What importance does it have, uh, you know, for us to know about it? So, first of all, it tells us or teaches us of how the government works. It tells us the function of our local government. Second of all, it prepares us, the citizens, to become knowledgeable and proactive members of the democratic society. So it gives us a lot of knowledge about how the government works. Also it makes us proactive citizens. It makes us take quick decisions. It makes us think over the decisions taken by the government and how to respond to those decisions. So this is the reason why we as citizens should know basic civics. So students, there are four important reasons of why we need to know basic civics, which will help us be good citizens in the society. So let us understand each of these reasons of why we need to know basic civics. The first one is Fundamentals of government. So we need to know as young people about the basic rules of the government, about the basic functioning rules of the government which help us to attain to our aim or it helps us to know what our government is and how it is functioning. So this is one of the important reasons why we need to know our basic civics. Now let us know the second one. Ownership of citizens. Now we as citizens of the society have a right to own land or property or to own anything for that matter. And we as citizens should understand under which bill we can own land or property in the society. The third point is proactive and knowledgeable citizens. Like I have told you in the introduction of why we need to learn civic, we as citizens should be very active in terms of choosing our government as well as understanding of how it functions. And if it is not functioning well, then we should know of how we can help or rather how we can contribute in making it function well. Also, we need to know a basic knowledge of our government and our constitution which makes us responsible citizens. The last point here is limitation of government. So students, we know that the government has a lot of right but with these right comes certain limitations and as citizens or rather responsible citizens of the society we need to know what are the limitations of the government and as citizens we too have certain right we can claim for certain 
right under certain section or certain bill we have our right which we, nobody or the government or anyone can take away from us therefore we need to know the limitation of the government so students this is basic idea of what civics is and why we need to know civics in the lesson that we will learn that is rural local self government we are going to study little more about the local governing bodies that is panchayats the municipalities and how these function and how it can help us to enhance or to bring development in the society and within us as citizens so students a democratic society relies on its people to fulfill their duties as a responsible citizens so this was a basic introduction on the first chapter in civics uh, that we're going to learn in detail about rural local self government thank you so much students take care and be safe